Welcome back everyone, it's the Bourbon Judge. Brady has some fun with barrel seagrass. So we got a lot to discuss here because uh, if you recall, going back, barrel seagrass was my number two rye whiskey for 2021. So lots of, I mean, it was, it was everything. It was, I mean, truly, it was a home run. It was a grand slam. Barrel truly hit this one out of the ballpark. Absolutely an amazing bottle. And then honestly, Barrel threw a nice little curveball over the last, what, like four to six weeks. They threw a curveball. They took the seagrass and they added an age statement to it. They tweaked it a little bit. Uh, so they came out with the 16 year old version that is a lot more cash. So if you recall, and I'm going to kind of talk about these, but um, the original version was $90 plus tax, obviously about a $100 bottle. So $100 bottle. Then they came out with, again, and everyone, including myself, loved this bottle. They changed up a little bit and they made the 16 year old version came out at $250. So the question is, Bourbon Judge, is the 16 year old version of Seagrass, is it worth it? What are the similarities, the differences, and is it worth the extra $150? That's a lot of cash. We shall see. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pour both of these real quick. And I'm going to give you just honestly the, uh, let's call it the, the key differences of the regular Seagrass versus the 16 year old version. But I would be remiss if I did not say, first and foremost, thank you to my buddy, Mike. So a uh, good friend of mine, uh, Mike, him and I, we we have bourbon nights all the time. He comes to my house. I go to his house. You know, we always hang out. Um, he has a huge collection. And he was like, hey, bourbon judge, I know you even bought this bottle. Do you want to review it for your channel? I was like, hey, cool, Mike. I really appreciate that, man. So shout out to my buddy, Mike, who uh, made all this uh, happen in terms of uh, sharing his bottle of 16-year-old seagrass with me. So I appreciate you, brother. All right, so what are the key differences between, let's call it barrel, regular barrel seagrass versus 16 year old version? So there's a couple key differences. Number one, the most important one in my opinion, is the price, $100, $250. That's an extra 150 bucks. The second key difference is, of course, this one did not have uh, an exact age statement, so it was a no age statement, where this one here is, of course, obviously age 16 years. And the real true key difference is, well, actually, I'm sorry, there's, there's two more. Um, from a proof standpoint, the original version was 118.4, and the new version is 130.82, so much higher from a proof standpoint. But the true key difference, other than the price uh, and the age, of course, and the proof, the other key difference is, when you think about it, as it says here in the back, the original um, seagrass was distilled in Kentucky. So they used Kentucky rye, they use Indiana rye, they use Tennessee rye, and Canadian rye. So Kentucky, Indiana, obviously MGP, Tennessee, and Canadian rye whiskey. Where, with this new version, they actually use 16-year-old, actually two different 16-year-old rye whiskeys, but only from Canada. So several different states in Canada, and this one, 16 years, but or two different 16-year-old rye whiskeys, but only from Canada. So that's another key difference. So it'll be very interesting to see how similar yet different these, these are. All right, but most important, they still finish them in both versions in Martinique rum, Madeira, and apricot, as it says on the front of both bottles, both still finish in the same uh, different barrels, if you will, from a secondary finishing standpoint. All right, ready to rock and roll? Cool, let's dive into this bad boy. All right, so the original, Honestly, this bottle is just so special on so many levels. I loved it originally because it was extremely fruit forward. It really took rye whiskey to the next level. And I really mean that. It was an exceptional bottle. Um, it was hard, honestly, not making it my number one. But I I, I love that my original version, my Michter's Barrel Strength, which is my number one. I love that bottle. And this one's just so different. But this is honestly a hell of a bottle. All right, let me get through the nose real quick. Wow, damn. Right when you go to right when you go to nose it, it truly is an explosion of like just fruit, tons of apples, pears, peaches, um, strawberries, blackberries, a little bit of spice right from the uh, from the rye. So a little bit of uh, like some pepper, a little bit of licorice, uh, a little bit of spicy as well, but a lot more fruit in the original version. A lot more fruit. All right, hey. I say this each and every week. Peace, cheers, salute to everyone out there. Cheers, everyone. Ooh. 
Wow. Absolutely one of the best rides I've had in years. Truly, I mean, I'm lost for words. You guys know me, I'm a talker too. I am lost for words. Everything in the nose transfers to the palate. It's a nice, long, and robust finish. The palate is just wonderful. Everything in the nose transfers to the palate. Tons of fruit, all the different, you know, uh, peaches and apples and so forth. All that fruit comes to the palate. The finish is nice and long and robust, and it's just a wonderful experience from the start to the finish. This is absolutely an amazing bottle for a $100 bottle. Truly amazing. It's going to be a lot of work for this bad boy to be $150 better. We shall see. All right. That's all I'm saying. Mm. That is truly such a fantastic bottle. I mean, it really is on so many different levels. All right. Let's get into this uh, nose for the 16-year-old version of seagrass. So remember, this one was made from two different rye, 16-year-old rye from Canada only. So there's no Kentucky, no Indiana, and no Tennessee in, in, in this version like that one was. With that one also had a little bit of um, Canada in that one too. All right. So the 16-year-old version. Mm. So off the bat, the key difference is... The 16 year old version is a lot more, even though it has the same exact finishes, as it says on the front, it has the uh, the rum, the Madeira, and the apricot brandy. The nose of the 16 year old version is a lot more of a traditional rye. It's a lot more peppery, a lot more um, like mint, some uh, maybe some burnt orange peel, and some black licorice. But it does have in the background, in the background, you get a lot more of the fruit. So it's much more spicy in the nose and less fruit. I mean, there's definitely that burnt orange peel, um, but it's a lot more traditional rye, like spicy, peppery, a little bit more licorice in the nose and a, a lot less uh, fruit. All right. Hey, real quick, three quick, easy favors. Number one, hit the like button. Number two, drop me a comment. Let me know whether or not you've tried both of these before and what your thoughts are. Last but not least, please make sure you subscribe to the uh, to the channel and also hit the bell so you get notifications each and every time I put out content. Cool? All right. Cheers, my friends. Mm. Wow. Woo! Damn. Now, that is bold. Way more bold. But what's very unique is that the nose again match the palate this is much more of a like a traditional older age rye whiskey it's more spicy a lot more uh, pepper uh it's a, lot, a little bit more licorice some burnt orange peel and a lot more mint in the in the in the nose as well as the palate the palate does have a little bit of fruit but the fruit is on the back end so if i had to compare these two and this is actually a lot more bold in terms of like the actual finish as well. A lot more bold versus this one, which kind of makes sense. 130 proof versus 118. So that definitely makes a difference as well. If I had to compare these two, it's actually a very simple comparison. This is a lot more bold, spicy, and more traditional rye um, with a little bit of fruit on the back end. This is way more fruit for it, like truly an explosion of fruit in the mouth, in the nose and mouth as well, with a little bit less uh, spice in the back end. So that's the key difference. Fruity, spicy. That's truly the difference. The question is, to everyone out there, bourbon judge, is this bad boy really worth going out and spending an extra $150 on top of that one? The verdict is in. And I, you guys know me, I'm always gonna keep it real and I gotta be honest with you. For me and me only, my verdict is for this one here. Obviously, this one was phenomenal. This is, I hate to say it, it's a do not buy. But hear me out. It's not a do not buy because it's not a fantastic whiskey. It's actually amazing. It's a do not buy because of the price. If this was maybe $150, so $50 more, then I can say, sure. I get the whole concept of a, you know, a 16 year old rye whiskey, right? A lot longer eight from an age statement. And I, I would be willing to pay for an extra 50, maybe even $60. I probably would pay 150, 160 for this personally. If it was at that price point, then I would actually say it's definitely a buy. But for an extra $150 versus this one, 
I just don't think honestly personally is really worth it for me and me only if I was recommending to a friend which one uh, to go out and buy all day long I would say save your hundred fifty dollars buy this version of it because honestly in many cases the original version is better in this case it's just as good as that one and actually in some ways because I like it a little bit sweeter I actually do prefer this one honestly the original version so keep an extra hundred fifty dollars in your wallet you can still buy barrel products but buy the original hey until the next time peace cheers salute peace everyone take care